Hello, fundamentally Chinese here. This video is primarily for students who just graduated or finished their SPM and I hope this video can give you a brief guide on where you wanted to go and what courses you want to take for your A-levels. There are ASASI, Matrix, A-levels, Utah, ASASI. There are so many options there, it might be a little confusing for some of you. So I already gathered and contacted some of my friends who went to different A-level programs around the country in Malaysia. So I hope this provides you a little bit of insight and helps you decide on where you want to go. So it's me again, I'll be representing the Asasi Science Pertanian or ESPER UPM. So a lot might be confused that this is an Asasi Science Pertanian, meaning that it's agricultural based studies, but actually it's not really because UPN has been famous for their agricultural science so they wanted to include this as a compulsory subject in their A-levels as well but this doesn't mean that you must go into agriculture when you're pursuing this degree and the nice thing about ASASI is that they are quotas for degree when uh, they are quotas when you're going into degree so this ensures that you are going definitely into UPM courses and it gives you a higher chance into courses that you actually want but you really do need to search out the list of what are the degree courses that you actually want in uh, UPM because there are some courses that are not available especially if you are going for Asasi Science per time yeah? you are studying here, you cannot go for literature and art, all those uh, language based degree courses lah, which I think is reasonable but overall as an experience, I think that Asasi Science per time is a really good course it teaches you a lot of things about the real life but actually uh, the agricultural subject although some might say why do I want to study agriculture for my you know any of my courses especially if you're going for medicine or engineering but actually during the first sem we are learning most of the agricultural science however when we are learning for the second sem it's primarily all about business which I think even if you are not directly involved with business it's a very definitely important subject for you to learn and in, who knows even though you are an engineer in the, or doctor in the future you might still need some business skill in the future as well there's also one thing I want to cover that uh, if you are studying in Esper actually there are a lot of students and I mean a lot of students who wants to study vet because one of the only university that offers the best veterinary courses in Malaysia is just UPM so it gives you a higher chance of uh, getting vet if you are studying as expert well because they have uh, a lot of quota allocated for specifically Asasi Science Pertanian student the amount of quota is much more even compared to matrix so that's the thing lah. but the thing is if you are applying as a study in expert the only choice you have for Asasi after after you studying SRC is that you must go to UPM that's the thing you cannot go to other university like UM or UKM or UM, UUM or UMS the only course the only way for you to go to a degree is to UPM degree courses and regarding about the hostel situation I think it's a pretty I think it's very great compared to Matrix honestly because I, I was in Matrix before this because they started Matrix earlier than the Asasi so I went there as per so I went to the Matrix and uh, overall I think that Asasi's uh, as per's, uh, as per's, uh, hostel situation is much better because it's much spacious you get more privacy space uh, especially if you can see one of my vlogs the space is much bigger and there's more enclosing spaces compared to if you are just in a Matrix also I want to mention that the life in UPM is very very freeing quite literally you can do anything you want to go anywhere there's no restriction compared to matrix you are just in there and you are not allowed to live in the matrix college whereas in university you literally have no control you can go to ioi mall which is one of the largest mall in uh, is the largest mall in malaysia and we went there a lot of times can go there and because it's Langor, it's very easy to travel to KL if you want to go and look around you can enjoy the city life I would say if you want to go there so I want to mention another thing is that mostly for Asasi as per you quite need to get a high qualification for us not, uh, for, for the first intake student I think most of them got like 8 to 9 A pluses 
So that's the thing. But there's also second and third intake for Asasi yourself. And also there's also direct intakes, eh, but you need to pay to come in. You are registered as an international student to come here. So that's the thing also. But you're paying, I think. How much do you pay? Ah? Around 10,000 ah, for this Asasi course. And uh, you still need to pay some hostel fees as well. That's the thing if you're going for direct intakes. I just want to let you guys know that there's an option for direct intakes. Direct intakes are available for all students, but you need to pay a sum of money. It's the same for other courses of Asasi, like Asasi's Pinta in UKM as well. So there's a lot of ways to getting into Asper if you didn't get Matrix or other Asasi courses as well. Please understand that. You have the, uh, you just need to apply through direct intakes as well. Please do note that you can do that. And also you need to understand that actually UPM is a, one of the largest campus in Malaysia also. It's a very big place. UPM you literally cannot escape from it. It's like so vast and big. So that's the thing also. It's a very calming up because since they are primarily focusing on uh, Pertanian and also VET. VET is also their main focus as well. So they are very there's a lot of greenery lah, honestly. Whenever you go to classes, you literally pass through thousands of, not the thousands, but dozens of uh, trees. And just opposite of my hostel is a whole uh, durian farm. But there's also one thing I need to mention. There's no cocoa marks here. However, it is okay if you join some uh, jawatan like high community, uh, high com or exco. If you have some jawatan, of course, it helps you when you're doing application of the uh, degree courses when you're interviewing at least you have something to show for Hi everyone, I'm Elisha and I'm currently studying in Utah Kamba campus As for your information, Utah is the short form of University Tunku Abdul Rahman It is a non-profit private research university in Malaysia I decided to pursue my study at the Kamba campus because my degree program is only available here and also I'm looking forward to the campus life that walks from blocks to blocks to reach my destination There are plants, flowers, animals all around the campus and sometimes some lizards in the pond It is somehow relaxing watching this scenery although it's still not enough for me to relieve my stress on my assignments, tests, quizzes and blah 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 Yes, perhaps but I still appreciated that in these 8 months, I get to know many new friends Living away from home by myself for the first time Get to know how to live by myself in a student hostel Get to involve in some interesting curriculum activities And the most important, I get the scholarship provided by Yuta that is the financial burden on my family Actually, there are still a lot of places to be explored in Utah such as the library, cafeteria, gym room, Utah hospital but everyone knows nothing is perfect, right? Uh, Utah still have many things to be improved you are still struggling finding the car parks you will struggle fitting in a bus other than that, some people may feel boring living in Kamba because it is different from cities that have many entertainments such as uh, shopping malls, cinemas, bar. Not to say it has none of them in Kampa, but it is just lesser compared to some people's hometown. But overall, I'm satisfied for what I have owned right now. I have transport provided by Utah, scholarship provided by Utah, breathtaking scenery in the campus, dedicated lecturers that helps me a lot during my study, and a quiet, silent place for me to focus on my study. If I were given another chance to choose my university again, I would definitely choose Utah because Utah, my choice. That's all for me. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jason, currently studying Foundation second trimester in University Technology Petronas, UTP. Straight to the point, the reason why I chose UTP is because my brother is also studying here and he said it's a pretty good uni. It's also only a 30 minutes car ride away from my house, so to me, it's a no-brainer. It 
also has one of the highest employability rate in Malaysia so that's why I chose it after studying and living here in UTP uh, yes I do live in a dorm even though I live close to my house and after living here for give or take six months I quite like it here it has a lot of facilities here the ones I mainly use uh, are a gym and swimming pool for a gym that's free, it is really well equipped. Uh, yeah, I also sometimes go kayaking, which is quite unique to me. The first time I heard that there's one like kayaking place in UTP. And another thing I really like about this uni is actually how much it cares about its students. They give opportunity for every student to study or intern abroad. And they even help you start your own business, uh, your entrepreneurship. That's only to name a few. Also, right, a little story. I always disconnect when I was playing Valorant the first time here. But the issue is all gone the next time. They even fixed the shower head and started building canopies all the way to the academic complex. So, yeah, I think this really shows that they really care about our well-being over here. And also, I like the fact that the foundation course they put you in is optimized for your course. So, you don't have to study extra materials for it to not be used ever again in your undergraduate studies. Living here is actually quite fun, especially when all your friends live inside a uni together, which is a fresh experience to me. And yes, it is compulsory to live in the student dorm, but I have to say, the dorm here is actually not that bad. They do maintenance every sand break and it's often clean. They also do a lot of events here, mostly student organized. And there's also a lot of event committees and clubs that you can join here if you're interested. I think this is a standard for every uni, but there's also scheduled buses that take you outside for you to, you know, buy some groceries or eat out with your friends. It might be a bit biased, but all in all, I do recommend this uni to people interested in engineering, tech, and computer science to study here. Good day guys, my name is Yang Zingbang and I am from Pelat Matriculation College. Today, I'm going to explain to you what is actually matriculation program or in other words, program matriculasi Pelat under Kementerian Pendidikan Malaysia. First of all, I'm going to tell you about the general requirements for matriculation program in brief. So basically, these are the general requirements that are posted by the matriculation program and then yeah, it's for sure, it's better for you to get a better grade from here so that you have a higher possibility to get enrolled in a matriculation program. And then for other details, information actually you can search in YouTube. Yeah, so basically I'm not going to emphasize so much because there are a lot of uh, videos study other in the sites. So I'm going to like emphasize on the uniqueness, the food, the lifestyle, and also the activities provided in matriculation program. So let's get started. What's so special about matriculation college? Uh? Okay. So my first thing that I want to say is, for matriculation college, it's actually a, like a sort of boarding school style. Where you will share your hostel, your room with three different people. They are from different races, different religions, and different cultures. And yeah, and I have uh, confirmed with other college, police and also Penang, they have the same style also. Okay, so basically you until here the video here you just have to feel scared. I mean yeah, I guess you feel scared because maybe it's your first time to stay with people that are from different background, different culture, right? So what I want to say is that yeah, uh, maybe when you first step into the room, you feel scared. But in the long run, you will feel very natural with your roommates. Yeah, actually, it's not only your first time. But it's also first time for each of your roommate to stay with different people from different cultures, different religions. Yeah, and then yeah, it's lucky for me to meet someone in my room that is very friendly with me. But maybe when you get enrolled into matriculation college, you will meet someone that's maybe yeah, maybe not friendly or what. But I mean like uh, never buy friendliness to one race because for every race you will meet someone they are friendly, they are not friendly, yeah, actually from different race, they are, uh, and from everywhere, they are, they have this kind of persons, this kind of friendly and not friendly person, but maybe when you met this 
person they are not friendly at first but me is friendly after that because me someone is introvert and then when you start to melt his, uh, his or her heart you get his friendliness maybe by any chance that I'm not sure and then for the next thing is that since you are staying with different races people yeah you can directly still directly experience their culture yeah as for me actually I have born Baju Melayu before and then yeah there are other things that I have experienced before that you can see here from photos that I'm not going to talk one by one and for sure when you stay in the same room you you directly understand more about their culture so the next thing is about the food yeah why I want to talk about the food in matriculation is because that food is the key of your homesickness but why because that I want to say that when you have eaten something outside for a very 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 long time if you will have a very strong feeling of missing home cooked food missing my mom's cooking yeah this is the feeling that you will feel as soon as you go into any outside college you live and then you have this kind of feeling so i just want to make a quick conclusion about this uh, whole video is that all of these courses has their own so I just want to make a quick conclusion about this uh, whole video is that all of these courses has their own pros and cons and it's most importantly on where do you really want to go if you are go uh, given the choice here do you want to go to Asasi UPN Esper or do you want to go to other Asasi programs like Asasi Pinta from UKM or you can go to private foundation courses such as Utah or UTP this is uh, and also Matrix Matrix provides the most flexibility in terms of if you want to go for a local university because Matrix has all access and has been recognized by all UN, UKN, UPN, UMS and all the local universities. So it is very highly dependent on the course that you want to pursue. Like for example for Utah, maybe if you want to proceed like for the friend that I just met, uh, the friend from Utah is for dietitian. So it is very important to choose what to think clearly on what courses or degree courses that you want to go first then you'll be thinking about the, the A-levels that are trying to go if for, for me, like I wanted to go for medicine so to increase my chances I wanted to go for ASPER because there's a quota system there whereas if I were to want to choose and try my luck on getting into UM I would have went for Matrix but to me I just prefer get, as long as I get medicine that would be best for me so de uh, decide for yourself I hope this video can provide you with a guide so all of these courses A level courses is a way to go no uh, discrimination against others just choose the one that is most suitable for you because everybody's fu uh, future and also condition is different you might not even get Asasi as per UPM or even Asasi Pinta so you might go to Matrix instead if you want to go and pursue for local universities but if you want to go for private you can go to a lot of universities other than the mention for Utah and UTP you can go to Inti, Taylor there are much more courses there these are just providing you the, for the base guideline that you can pursue in your A-levels so I hope this video helps see you in the next one bye bye